I'm going to demonstrate to you what is pumped into the atmosphere when we burn coal to produce just one megawatt of electricity. A megawatt sounds a lot, but if you break that down it's just enough to power your fridge freezer for about a year. First I'll start with coal dust, or particulate matter, 422 kilograms of it in fact. This stuff is toxic and once it gets into your lungs and bloodstream it isn't coming out. Next, 80 grams of the highly toxic mercury. Mercury dust is landing on our water and crops and getting into our food chain. Next is 50 grams of lead. We all know how bad this stuff is for humans and animals. Finally, I've left the most toxic to the last. Let's add 100 grams of the well-known carcinogen arsenic. For every 100 people who drink water containing 50 parts per billion of arsenic, one person is guaranteed to get cancer. But that's not all. Now we need to add in the following. 3,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide, 13 tonnes of sulphur dioxide, 10 tonnes of nitric oxide, and about 600 kilograms of carbon monoxide all to produce just one megawatt. This pollution gets trapped in buildings and the air is cleaned by using fans and filters which use energy produced by coal plants. As air pollution rises further, we increase filtration, increasing the demand for coal energy production. It's a vicious cycle and we are literally suffocating ourselves. How is this sustainable? Coal isn't going away anytime soon, so if we want to protect ourselves inside our homes, schools, hospitals and workplaces, we must first cut our own energy use. That means finding every way possible to reduce our power consumption. Imagine the impact on the environment if every person committed to saving just one megawatt, our planet would become a much healthier and more sustainable place to live in.